All right guys, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to replace the shock spring on your rear shock. So I've got another shock that I'm gonna use off a 2008 KX450 that has a little heavier spring rate. So I'm gonna pop this off my 07 KX252 stroke and then pop on the new spring, so stay tuned. Okay, first things first, what you're gonna to wanna to do is actually measure the spring on where it sits on the current shock now. Um, this is because, so when you put the new spring back on, you're gonna kind of be in the same ballpark for your preload numbers. Okay, so it's looking like the length of my spring here is nine and seven eighths inches, so remember that. Next up is we'll take some type of punch. I'm just gonna use a, um, a pretty hefty screwdriver that I bought, flathead screwdriver and a dead blow hammer, and you're gonna knock this first collar loose on the shock. And I would loosen that quite a bit. Then what you're gonna do is take the punch again and loosen up that second collar. I also have this spanner wrench too that I'm gonna try. It's probably gonna be a little bit easier. Seems like it is. Okay guys, and once you get the second collar loose, you should just be able to continue spinning it with hand with your hand and then it should loosen up the shock on the shaft here okay and then basically what you're doing is loosening the shock for the other end so now what you'll do is take the little bumper on the inside and then what that'll do is kind of use something to wedge it and that'll just slide right up so slide that bumper up and then you have the two collars on the bottom. So the one on the top, but then you have the one on the very bottom here, which has the slot. So if you loosen the shock up just enough, you should be able to hold that top collar and then slide that bottom one out. Looks like I just need a little bit more here. A little bit more space. Okay, now we should be able to just slide that bottom one out, just like that. That retaining collar will slide out the bottom and then boom, this shock body, the shock spring will slide right out of the body. So before I throw this new spring on, what I'm gonna do is remove these collars, take them all the way off, and I'm gonna actually try to shine up and bench grind all the paint off the shock body here and make it have a nice and polished look. All right guys, as you can see, I just got done with the shock body and these collars off of the buffer, so they came out super nice. So I'm gonna swap out the old spring, which is a 5.3. I'm gonna throw in the new one, which is a 5.4 kilogram per millimeter spring rate. This is actually off a 2008 KX450 that I used to have back in the day, so a little bit uh, beefier spring on the back. Okay, what you wanna do first is do everything in the reverse order, basically. So start with the small collar, followed by the bigger collar here, which is like the base collar, and screw them back onto the shock body. Remember to screw them all the way on to give yourself enough slack to slide the shock spring up so we can get the bottom collars on. Next up, we're gonna slide the new spring on to the body. Okay, I like how this spring's a little darker too, it's pretty cool. Okay, there's that. All right. Okay, with that shock spring on, make sure the bumper is now pushed up a little bit so you can get the first collar on. And you're gonna wanna make sure the inner lip is facing up because the shock is gonna sit on this outside rim here. 
like so, fits in there nice. And then we'll take this lower collar, slip it through the shock shaft, and then that'll sit on top of this base on this bottom piece here. You can slide the bumper back down. Kind of seat that spring on there. And then you can come back to the top and spin down those two collars on the top. And then from here, this is where you're gonna to wanna to spin this bottom collar and tighten the spring back down to the original length that you had measured. Remember nine, mine was nine and seven eighths inches. So I'm just basically gonna keep screwing this and pushing the shock down to compress it to the length of the spring. So before we go on and tighten down the spring anymore, compress it even more, what I wanted to say is make sure that the bottom of the spring is even all the way around the top of this shock collar body here because if it's not, you're gonna have inconsistent action with the spring as it compresses and rebounds. So super important to make sure you go around and check all the edges to make sure it's even. All right, so let's get a quick measurement here. I'm at about a 10 and an eighth, so I need to go about a quarter of an inch here. Tighten it down. I'm gonna do so with the spanner wrench. All right, so I tightened it down a little bit more. Let's go ahead and check the length of the spring. Boom, nine and seven eighths inches. Perfect, so when I get this spring back on, I'm actually gonna have to go reset the sag um, because it's a little bit stiffer of a spring, so I'm gonna start from there. I'll go ahead and screw this collar back down to the top of the other one. And then what you do, take a punch or a big screwdriver onto the shock. Kind of Give it a couple nice taps, so it tightens down so that bad boy doesn't move. All right guys, so that's how you change the shock spring. If you got any questions, leave them down in the comments below. But I'm pretty happy the way the shock turned out after, after buffing it on the buffer wheel. The darker shock spring looks really cool, so I'm hoping this bad boy works when I throw it back on the bike. Thanks guys.